Canelo versus Triple G2 is a 12-round fight for the middleweight championship of the world presented by Golden Boy Promotions and Triple G Promotions. This event is sponsored by Tecate, the official beer of boxing. Hennessy, never stop, never settle. Fred Loy Insurance, Interjet, Venom, and Fathom Events. Tickets are on sale now at tmobilearena.com and axs.com as well. To everyone watching on Facebook Live today, we want to hear from you. Leave your questions for the fighters, the promoters in the comment section below for a chance to have your questions answered live on the air today. So stay tuned for that. All right. Let's get this started. Let's go straight to our fighters, to our promoters, and we go live to Guadalajara, Mexico. Both fighters have already started their training camps, and we will introduce everyone around this fantastic fight. Joining Canelo from his gym in Guadalajara is his manager and co-trainer, Jose Chepo Reynoso, his trainer, Eddie Reynoso, and the chairman and CEO of Golden Boy Promotions, Oscar de la Hoya, who will open our press conference with a few remarks. Oscar, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Um, I want to uh, express my gratitude to everybody around the world watching us live uh, for the first time ever uh, holding a press conference on Facebook. Uh, we gr greatly appreciate the support and uh, today as of today at 10 a.m. in the morning, tickets went on sale. They're going extremely well, extremely fast, and we're grateful to all the fans who can be watching live on September 15th uh, from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Uh, I want to thank Team Canelo. I want to thank uh, Team Triple G for making this fight once again for the fans. Uh, the fans got to witness an incredible, incredible fight the first time around and we strongly believe that the second fight will be a continuation, round number 13 of, uh, of, uh, of their first fight uh, televised live on HBO pay-per-view. The telecast does begin at 8 p.m. Eastern. Um, this will give an opportunity for the fans uh, across the globe uh, to watch this fight uh, uh, at an earlier time. So we want to thank uh, uh, HBO and, uh, and their teams. Thank you, Oscar. And joining Triple G live from the Summit Gym in Big Bear, California, is his trainer, Abel Sanchez, and the promoter for Triple G, Tom Loveler, who will also begin with a few remarks. Tom? Oh, we're excited to be uh, part of this uh, great event. Uh, you know, this Facebook Live press conference. Uh, this is one of those events that we have to give credit to both Triple G and Canelo for making the fight, not just talking about fighting each other like many fighters, many stars do, but actually agreeing to fight each other. It was a tough negotiation, uh, but at the end of the day, both fighters have agreed to get in the ring. This will be a great rematch. Uh, as Oscar said, the tickets went on sale today. This uh, rematch really feels like it's a much bigger event than the first time. There was a lot of controversy uh, around the, the scoring for the first fight. Uh, and both guys don't want to leave it in the judges' hands this time. Uh, we're up here uh, where Abel Sanchez has his training camp in uh, Big Bear, California. Uh, Triple G is training to make a much more decisive victory over uh, Canelo uh, in the second time around. You see we have all the titles here. Uh, Triple G is the champion. And uh, if Canelo wants to become a champion, he actually has to fight and uh, try to take the titles away. So we're looking forward to seeing everyone September 15th at T-Mobile and on HBO pay-per-view. All right, Tom, thank you very much. Uh, this rematch was scheduled to happen this past May in Las Vegas, but as we all know, the fight was canceled after Canelo tested positive for the banned substance Clemburro. So my first question is for you, Canelo. Bienvenido, Canelo. What happened? And what would you like to say to your fans that were disappointed in you? ¿Qué pasó? 
eh, no, no por lo de la cancelación y qué le quieres decir a los fanáticos tuyos que se pueden esperar no pues de lo que pasó por lo que se canceló la pelea ya se sabe no no no, no se tiene nada que decir sobre eso pero lo que le quiero decir a los fans es que estamos aquí, hicimos la pelea, gracias a Dios, es lo que queríamos, es lo que querían ver ustedes y tenemos el 15 de septiembre una gran pelea, una pelea que seguramente, eh, sin duda, será, será mejor que la primera y, y que la que iba a ser en mayo, eso sin duda. Thank you, Saúl. Now with you. The cancellation, we all... Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Robert. The reason of the cancellation, we all know, there's no reason or no need to talk about that. The main thing is that we're now here. The fight got done. I did it for the fans. You, this is the fight you wanted to see. And come September 15th, I can assure you, it'll be a much better fight than what you would have seen in May. Thank you, Saul. Now with you, Gennady. How disappointed were you the fight didn't happen in May? Как спортсмены и также болельщики хотели все этого боя. Но в данный момент мы имеем этот бой в сентябре. Конечно, я был разочарован в первую очередь. Но в данный момент у нас все получилось, и я рад, что у нас есть этот бой. Well, of course, we were all disappointed. I was disappointed, and uh, uh, the fans were disappointed uh, that uh, this first uh, May 5 bout didn't happen. But right now, everybody is. Uh, Happy that uh, we all agree uh, to have this next fight on September 15th. So both us and our fans should be happy. Now, Gennady, do you really believe the reason Canelo tested positive for clemburil was tainted meat? Как вы думаете, действительно, что вы верите в то, что Канело сказал, что он получил, так сказать, это допинг, потому что он какое-то мясо ел там? Вы знаете, я уважаю уважаю тех спортсменов кто находится на таком уровне, но не мною было лишение предоставлено для Канеловской команды, и, то есть это сделала комиссия, просто-напросто они облажались. Верю я, не верю, то есть это, думаю, не имеет никакого значения. Well, first of all, I respect uh, the uh, fighters of the level of Canela, and the fact uh, uh, that way they screwed up, it's, uh, it was not my decision to disqualify him, uh, and uh, it, uh, I think it was uh, the, the team failure, but uh, it doesn't matter right now. Uh, it does, doesn't matter right now. It's important that we're going to have a fight. Abel Sanchez, I want to go to you now. Uh, do you also believe the recent Canelo test of positive for Clemburil was tainted me? Because you were very vocal when this first news came around that Canelo might be suspended. wait for the commission to do their investigation and, uh, and come out whatever the findings were. Uh, uh, unfortunately, they, they, they made a mistake. Uh, we have a fight on our hands on September the 15th. They found them innocent of anything, any wrongdoing, so we have to go with that. But uh, uh, my personal feelings have nothing to do or should have nothing to do with uh, the actual findings uh, of the commission. But why, why are you saying you think they made a mistake? What mistake did they make? Well, they, they felt that he made a mistake. They felt that he um, he ingested uh, some bad beef. Uh, hopefully this time that they're in Mexico, he doesn't do that again. Uh, we'd like to have a fight on the 15th, and the fans deserve that. All right, fans, what do you think? Remember to keep sending us your comments and questions below so we can hear from you live at the end of the broadcast. Uh, let me go back to Gennady Golovkin. Even though your rematch against Canelo Alvarez was canceled, you still fought in May in Los Angeles at the Stop Hub Center against Vanes Martiroshian. What were you trying to prove in the fight? Геннадий, к вам был вопрос. Хотя вы, этот бой с Канело был отменен, вы все равно в мае провели бой против Ванеса Мартиросяна. Почему вы решили это сделать? Что вы хотели доказать этим? Я просто-напросто хочу быть активным. Я просто-напросто хочу боксировать. Я люблю, уважаю этот спорт. И я хочу... Многие болельщики хотят видеть мои бои. Почему я должен отказываться, если у меня есть возможность отбоксировать? Тем более в такой день, как Синка Демая. Well, 
because I like to be active. I, I like this uh, box. I, I like this uh, this sport, and uh, I like uh, the fans. You know, the fans wanted me to fight, and I, I, why shouldn't I? Uh, why shouldn't I fight, uh, particularly in such an important day, uh, May the fifth? Canelo, did you watch Triple G's fight in May? Canelo, we we did what boy, который был 5 мая. У Канело спрашивают. All right, let me go back to Canelo again. Canelo, did you watch the fight? Did you watch Triple G's fight in May? And if you did, what did you think of the fight? Sí, sí, lo vimos. Lo vimos pelear en mayo. Obviamente, nuestro rival en turno y tenemos que verlo. No, creo que, pues, no se le puede llamar pelea eso. Creo que no, no, no tuvo rival esa noche. Simplemente. Is superior to that type of rivals. All right, Oscar. Could, sorry, go go ahead, Robert. Yes, yes, I did see the fight in May. Of course, I would. I mean, he's the opponent that I have at hand, and that's my job to watch him. As far as what I thought about the fight, look, you can't call that a fight. He had no opponent. That's not his level of, of opponent. So I, I didn't pay attention as far as that being a fight. Let me go back to Oscar De La Hoya, Oscar. Could you take us through the negotiations that have taken place over the last few months? Well, I mean, the, the negotiations are the negotiations. Um, uh, the bottom line is that we have a fight. Um, obviously, uh, obviously, we know who the uh, A side is, and that's Canelo Alvarez. Uh, we obviously know that um, all of Mexico is behind Canelo Alvarez. Uh, everywhere I go, everywhere we walk, I mean, the, the Mexican national is behind Canelo Alvarez. Um, and uh, I strongly believe that, uh, look, Canelo going into the ring uh, last, uh, uh, wanting to win those belts um, for honor and pride, um, you know, he's going to show it up in the ring. And uh, we strongly feel that, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a big advantage. And once that first bell rings, uh, you know, we have a fight. So we, we, we strongly feel that, um, look, whatever the negotiations were, we're extremely happy with, and, uh, and the fans are going to be even happier when they see a fight on September 15th. But Oscar, tell us why is it so important for this rematch to take place on September 15th? So important, in fact, that you had to put up your own money to make it happen. Well, that was the big hail maker is, um, you know, I mean, we can all here talk about percentages and this and that, but there was a few things that I had to throw in at myself. Uh, but the bottom line is, is that the Canelo has the, the, the bigger piece of the pie and uh, because he's the champion, he's the draw. He's the one that brings in the people on September 15th. You will have millions and millions of fans uh, uh, supporting Canelo and supporting Triple G as well. But this fight had to be made um, because we didn't want to uh, we didn't want to experience another uh, Hagler Hearns uh, or Hagler uh, Sugar Ray Leonard uh, because we didn't see the second fight uh, that, uh, that didn't take place. We didn't want to see uh, Trinidad and, and myself. We never saw the second fight. So this fight had to take place. Uh, the first time was a draw, and uh, and and finally we have it. September 15 would be such a important day for boxing. I strongly feel that uh, the way this fight is going to turn out, um, the fans are going to be extremely happy, extremely proud, and boxing will once again rise to the pinnacle of where it should be. How about you, Tom? Why is it so important for Triple G this fight to take place and to make the compromise that Triple G has made in order to ensure the rematch? For example, letting go of your position that the pairs for the rematch should be an even, an even split. Well, on our side, we know who the champion is. Uh, it doesn't matter who's announced first. doesn't matter whose name appears first on the poster. Triple G is the champion. It's, uh, he's going to walk in with his belts. And the important thing is he's going to walk out with his belts. Um, there were a lot of uh, back and forth with the negotiations. But again, we have to give both fighters credit. We have to give Triple G credit. We have to give Canelo credit. 
we have to give Oscar and Golden Boy Promotions credit. The bottom line is we're not just talking about the rematch. We're actually seeing the rematch happen September 15th. A lot of fighters can't even fight the first time. And here's two of the biggest stars in boxing fighting the rematch. Neither side wants to let it go to the judges. Canelo's predicting a KO. Triple G doesn't want to go through the same thing he went through last year in September where the hands, where his fate is in the hands of three people. Uh, he wants to make sure he controls his destiny and wants to make sure there's going to be no question who walks out of the ring as the, the champion on September 15th. Now, Gennady, we just heard Oscar De La Hoya describing why Canelo Alvarez is the main man on this fight. So why do you think you deserved a 50-50 split? Я, я всегда говорил об этом, я считаю, что Оскар во многих вещах заблуждается, так как он считает, что вся Мексика будет болеть именно за Канело. Но вряд ли это будет так, так же, как и Канело является локомотивом в нашем, в нашем противостоянии. Нет, мы оба заслуживаем этого боя, мы оба достойны этого боя. По, конечно, все рассчитывали на 50 на 50, но я думаю... Мы пошли больше на уступки и сделали 45 в наш... для нас и 55 для них. То есть, это... То есть это, в принципе, устраивало две стороны. Мы сейчас в данный момент имеем очень, хороший... очень хорошую сделку, чему будем довольны. Я думаю, и наша сторона довольна, и его сторона будет довольна. Well, I always believe that, and I also, I know that uh, uh, Oscar says, uh, and I not always agree with what uh, Oscar says. I, for example, I don't believe that all Mexico will be rooting uh, uh, for, uh, for, for, for Canela. Uh, and uh, I, uh, I understand that, uh, all that uh, Oscar thinks that uh, uh, Canela is the main locomotive behind this fight, but I don't think, I think both are uh, worthy of this fight, and as far as uh, 45 to 55, yes, we made a, we made a concession. Uh, I think uh, that we make a big concession, but I think it's uh, right now it's the most important thing that we, we're going to have a fight and uh, our fans will, uh, will love it. Now, Canelo, Gennady just said that he doesn't believe that Canelo. whole Mexico will be rooting for you. Do you agree? And why, why do you think Triple G believes he has some part of the Mexican fans behind him? Mis detractores durante toda mi carrera, ¿no? Eh, creo que eso siempre están en contra de mí, así vaya con, con, con él o con otro rival, ¿no? Siempre están en contra de mí esos detractores, ¿no? Pero hay más gente que me apoya que la que no, así que eh, la gente va a estar ahí apoyándome, 100% sin duda. Eh, y al final, esté la gente o no conmigo, eh, los únicos que nos vamos a subir al cuadrilátero somos él y yo. Somos él y yo. Y ese día se va a dar cuenta del, de la verdad de lo, de lo que es el Canelo. Creo que aquí ya se perdió, se perdió el poco respeto que nos teníamos y yo voy con otra, otra mentalidad. Voy a demostrarle quién es el mejor, así esté la gente o no esté la gente conmigo. Look, I've always had detractors. I mean, regardless of if I'm fighting him or who I'm fighting, there's always that side of, of the fans that, you know, the, the, the detractors. But I have much more, many more, that love and support me. And now, that little respect that I had, or that we had, it's been lost. And come September 15th, it's just him and I in the ring. Whether I have the support or not, it's just going to be him and I. And he'll see. All right, and to all of you watching us live on Facebook, we have a poll. Who do you think will win the rematch? Let us know what you think also. Send your comments and questions because we will be going live to you in just a little bit. But here's the question. Who do you think will win the rematch? Use hashtag Canelo wins. Use hashtag Triple G wins. Now, I want to go back to Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar, you've had grudge matches yourself as a fighter. Does being in a fight like this motivate you more in training camp, especially when you just heard Canelo saying, he doesn't respect Triple G anymore. Well, that's, that's exactly what a fighter needs. Um, and that's exactly why this fight is gonna be such a great fight. Uh, like Canelo said, the little respect they had for each other is out the window. 
And uh, when you're a fighter and you have no respect for your opponent, magic happens. Magic takes place inside the ring. You train harder in the, in, in the gym. You run extra miles. You assure yourself that you're in tip-top shape. But more importantly, it's mental. The, the mental aspect of it is, uh, is at its highest level. Um, that's why I think that, uh, that uh, these both fighters are going to be in tip-top shape come September 15, and we will see an amazing fight. All right, uh, Tom, not only as a promoter, but as a boxing fan, as a fight fan, how excited are you, how, are, how excited are you for this fight, and how excited should fans be for this fight? No, this is a great fight, fight here. This is as a, not only as a promoter, but as a boxing fan. This is the fight that everyone's looking forward to. This is the fight that the fans are looking forward to, that the media has been asking about. And uh, Triple G, you know, I, I get a lot of comments, a lot of messages on social media from fans in Mexico saying, please knock out Canelo. Don't let it in the judges' hands this time. And, and Triple G is going to come out that way. I know Oscar's down there in Mexico uh, with, with Canelo. Oscar, make sure Canelo less Mexican meat, more Mexican style this time, September 15th. Make sure everything goes the right way. There's two warriors getting in the ring. Uh, the gloves are off this time around. Uh, both guys, you know, feel disrespected by what happened uh, last uh, May 5. So I think the fans are going to win coming up uh, September 15th uh, when, when these guys get in the ring with each other. Now, Gennady, I know you are on Twitter. And I don't know if you saw this. Uh, Oscar De La Hoya on May 11th tweeted the following, and I want to quote here. In the meantime, Triple G Boxing making three million and at Canelo making 40 million without you. Hashtag sign the contract. Hashtag scared. Hashtag Canelo Triple G to hashtag stop crying. We just talked about respect. Gennady, how do you respond to this? to what Oscar De La Hoya had to say about you on May 11th. Oscar De La Hoya can say a lot. We know how much he can say. It's not always true. Everyone of us understands it. But in this moment, if the речь is about money, то есть я делаю, я как боксер, я делаю свою работу. Я выхожу на ринг и дерусь. А в этом случае я считаю, что Оскару Дулахой надо просто посмотреть за своим подопечным и сделать ему, предоставить ему ту же возможность, если он любит столько зарабатывать, и предоставить себе такую же возможность заработать еще больше. Пусть они также выходят в ринг и делают свою работу. Оскар Дулахой может сказать много вещей, и не всегда правильно. я I'm a fighter and I go and work, uh, do my work, I fight. And as far as uh, Oscar de la, Goya, de la, de la Hoya is, uh, uh, I think uh, I suggest that he should, he should take care of his own fighter and if he wants him to make more money, let's have a fight, uh, put him on the ring. All right, fans, what do you think? We'll be reading your questions very shortly live and we are updating the poll results. Now, I want to go back to Abel, and I, uh, uh, Abel, I want to I wanna tell you about this quote from Canelo Alvarez this past week on ringtv.com. Canelo said the following, and I quote, uh, the truth is that this fight means a lot to me because of all that has happened and all that has been said. Alvarez said Friday, one day before tickets officially go on sale, I will prove with my fists that I am the best, and Golovkin will eat all of his words and speculations. I will demonstrate who is the best when I defeat Golovkin soundly on September 11 during Independence Day weekend. And I'll make it clear that Mexican boxing is the best. Abel, do you think Canelo has what it takes to knock out Triple G? Well, first of all, uh, all those same things were said prior to the first fight. And, and, uh, it ended up being a track meet. Uh, I think that uh, on, on the 15th, when Oscar and Canelo are having breakfast, Oscar needs to remind him to make sure he brings his courage to the venue that night because he's going to need it. If he intends to knock out Golovkin, he's going to have to fight him. And if he fights him, he's going to get knocked out. I said that before. Uh, he would have gotten knocked out the first time, but uh, he decided to make it a track, uh, a track meet that night. 
But if he comes to fight and if he comes to knock out uh, Golovkin, as he said he has, he's going to, uh, if he doesn't defraud the fans again, then he's going to get knocked out. I've said it, and I'll say it again. Now, Canelo, you just, you just heard Abel saying that you didn't want to fight the first time. I want to go back to you now and let you answer that uh, statement because it seems like uh, from Triple G's camp, you were never willing to engage during the fight. Will this time be any different? Yo hice mi pelea, hice la pelea que tenía que hacer, ¿no? Hice una gran pelea. Eh, creo que esta pelea es muy diferente, creo que es muy diferente. Eh, el 15 de septiembre verán a un Canelo diferente y, y siempre las palabras salen sobrando, ¿no? Y más de que del señor este que, que le gusta hablar mucho, creo que el 15 de septiembre se va a dar cuenta, se va a dar cuenta de muchas cosas. I did my fight. I did what I set out to do. I did what I trained to do, and I did a great fight. But on September 15th, I'm going to do the necessary adjustments and the necessary things to win. This man just likes to talk. He likes to talk a lot and, and bring up every excuse possible. But you'll see on September 15th what Canelo Alvarez is all about and what he's capable of doing. All right, Gennady, you just heard Canelo saying that was his fight, that was his strategy but he says it's going to be different. How about from your side? How different is your strategy going to be to face with Canelo once again? I, in principle, as a champion, I know my strategy, I know my work. I will continue to follow my plan. Of course, in this fight, a lot will depend on Canelo. So, he will много что показать, то есть насколько он себя раскроет, тем интереснее будет бой. As a champion, I know my strategy, and of course in this uh, upcoming fight, a lot of will depend uh, on Canelo, and uh, the, if the more uh, Canelo can show, uh, the more interesting will be the fight. All right, let's go to Eddie Reynoso in Guadalajara, part of uh, Canelo's camp. Uh, Eddie, welcome. First of all, why is your fighter? the better fighter. Pues porque tiene más argumentos boxísticos, es un peleador que sabe contragolpear, un peleador que sabe quitar los golpes, que sabe caminar en el en el ring, es un peleador que sabe fintar, que tiene más combinaciones, un peleador más completo. Simply, I mean, he's a fighter with more arguments. He has more talent, more, more versatile. He knows how to walk in the ring. He knows how to make you miss, counter punch, attack. I mean, he's, he has the total package. Chepo, what did you learn from that first fight that can expose Triple G's weaknesses? Buenas tardes. Bueno, ¿qué te aprendí? <coughs> Saúl es un peleador que piensa, es un peleador muy pensante. Y yo creo que el próximo 15 de septiembre van a ver una actitud diferente en Saúl. La primera vez no se conocían arriba del ring en una pelea, aunque ya se conocían mucho tiempo, pero peleando no se conocían. Ahora ya se conocen los dos. Saúl sabe lo que hemos platicado, sabe lo que faltó, si es que faltó, yo sigo pensando que ganamos la pelea claramente, bueno, pero la gente no, no los jueces no pensaron así, pero ahora va, van a ver un, un Saúl diferente y ese 15 de septiembre van a pasar dos cosas, Saúl le va a quitar lo invicto a Golovkin y le va a cerrar la boca a Abel. Look, Saúl es un thinking fighter, es un inteligent fighter, and regardless of what many people thought, I thought he clearly won the fight, clearly. But come September 15th, I can assure you two things. Not only is Saul gonna take away Triple G's undefeated record, but he's also gonna shut up Mr. Abel Sanchez. So none of the boxers want to take this to the judge's decision. So we'll have a new poll for everyone watching. Do you think this fight will end in a knockout? Hashtag 
yes KO, hashtag no KO. Let me go back to Abel Sanchez now. Abel, you just heard Canelo saying we'll see a different Canelo. Even uh, Chepo Reynoso also said we'll see a different Canelo. What did you learn from Canelo Alvarez on the first fight? And do you think we'll see a different Canelo Alvarez September 15th? Well, in the first 40-some uh, fights that we saw Canelo fight, he fought a totally different uh, fight, and he promised the fans that he was going to give them the same type of action uh, against Golovkin. After the first couple rounds, he found out that he couldn't. I hope that uh, September 15th uh, coming up is different because I think the fans deserve uh, what we have been promising them. Uh, Golovkin fights in his style. He's the champion. He's going to go at uh, Canelo. And if Canelo thinks he can knock him out, then uh, I think we'll see a classic fight. Uh, it doesn't matter how smart Canelo is when he gets, when he gets hit and he gets hurt, he's going to be knocked out. Smarts have nothing to do with it. He's going to get hit and get hurt. Now, Chepo, several times, Abel Sanchez called Canelo Alvarez a cheater after all the controversy surrounding his suspension. How did that make you feel? And what do you think of Abel Sanchez as a trainer? Look, I think Abel Sanchez just likes to talk. He talks too much. At the end of the day, September 15th, it's going to be Canelo Alvarez and Triple G fighting with their fists, not with their mouths. He likes to be the, the, the star of the movie, and it's not him. This is about Canelo and Triple G. And what we need to do as cornermen, as trainers, is do our job quietly, because it's not about us. Abel, learn this to be quiet, please. I want to go back to Oscar De La Hoya. He's in Guadalajara with Canelo's uh, team at his training camp facility. Oscar, what have you seen so far from Canelo's team and the way they are preparing for September 15th? Well, it's 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 clear that um, that for Team Canelo, um, it's 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 a totally different uh, mindset. It's a totally different fight. Um, just being an ex-fighter myself, I know what type of preparations uh, you must do uh, in order to uh, to uh, to fulfill your goal, to fulfill your your your. Your goal comes September 15th against Triple G, and I can assure you, I mean, it's, it's clear that Canelo is in a stronger uh, state of mind. Um, there's, there's, there's obviously um, bad blood, and uh, therefore that's why it's going to be an amazing fight. Look, Canelo, yes, he can box, he can move, he's, he's the more skillful fighter, he can do all that stuff, but he can also fight. And, uh, and, and Triple G hasn't seen that, um, but I'll, I'll assure you one thing, come September 15th, it's, uh, it's, all, it's all business. It's all going in there and, uh, and proving not to everyone who's watching, but proving to Triple G that he's the better fighter. So um, will Canelo be in different shape? Will he be in better shape? Will he be in stronger, faster? He's gonna be all that and then some. So. On our side, we, we, we strongly feel uh, they haven't seen Canelo the, the way they're going to see him September 15th. We've seen Triple G. We know what he does. All he does is come forward and fights, and, and that's it. Canelo has many other things he does. So come September 15th, um, you'll be able to witness them. Now, Oscar, I want to give you a chance to respond to one of Tom's comments, also Gennady's comments, that when they say that uh, Mexico is actually split. It's divided. Not everyone's rooting for Canelo, and some Mexicans are also rooting for 
Gennady Golovkin. How do you respond to that? Everybody has their fans. Everybody has their fans. And there's a reason why when Canelo fights on HBO pay-per-view, which he's the only pay-per-view star in boxing, there's a reason why they support him. There's a reason why he generates the numbers he does. There's a reason why uh, the gates are so high. There's a reason why the numbers are so high. And uh, look, every fighter has their, their naysayers. Everybody fighter has their, 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 uh, their non-supporters. But the truth of the matter is that Canelo has millions and millions of fans all over the world, just like Triple G. But we have to recognize one thing, that Canelo is the Mexican champion, the Mexican star, the star of boxing. Now I want to go back to Gennady Golovkin, uh, Triple G. You just heard Canelo Alvarez saying how he has lost some respect for you. Let me ask you something. Have you also lost respect for Canelo Alvarez, the boxer, or even the person? Знаете, спортсменов к такому уровню спортсменам я думаю в конце концов мы именно по мужски сможем пожать друг другу руки и здесь даже не будет стоять на первом месте уважения а именно по мужски пожать друг другу руки то есть вот именно думаю у нас ментальность хватит чтобы пожать друг другу руки respect is respect uh, we have different mentality we have different understanding of, of uh, what uh, respect is I, I think uh, uh, Canela team by uh, doing what they, do, they did uh, and they lost some respect from their fans but uh, it's not uh, it's not important I, I do have respect to all uh, the fighters all the athletes all the champions who fight at this level and I think at the, ve at, at the very end we will find a way to shake each other hand, uh, regardless of what uh, the outcome, regardless of what we think before the fight. As two men, we should be able to uh, stand against each other and shake each other hand at the end. Canelo, I remember before the first fight, uh, you both were behaving in a very respectful manner. Why does this time feel like more personal to you, actually to both of you, but for you, Saul Alvarez, is this personal this time? Yes, absolutely. It's changed totally. They've disrespected me for all the everything they've been saying, everything they've been doing, all their actions. Now it's different. It's personal. Now, Canelo, a lot has been said from both camps about you and Triple G, but one of your biggest critics so far is Abel Sanchez. And you haven't really talked to him yet, so we'll give you that opportunity to address him directly. What do you want to say to Abel Sanchez, who's listening to you right now, live? We know, you know, they've talked to you, Triple G, but here you have the opportunity. If there's something you want to say to Abel Sanchez, I don't have anything to say to him. I don't have anything to say to him. I have nothing to say to him. He knows what I think of him. Abel, what do you think of Canelo? He's listening to you right now. You've talked a lot about him as well. I talked about him because of uh, what his actions have been and the, thing, the consequences that is, has caused for us as a team here, the GGG team. Uh, he's an exceptional fighter. Uh, two guys at the top of their game are going to duke it out on the 15th. Um, I hope we get the kind of fight that we're, we're expecting. All right. Triple G, is there anything that you would like to say to Canelo Alvarez? 
сказать, канал Альвар в Геннадии? В данный момент я очень рад, потому что у нас есть бой. Я думаю, мы оба будем в лучшей форме, потому что мы уважаем своих болельщиков, мы уважаем свои команды, мы уважаем этот спорт. Одинаково, я думаю. Well, uh... Я думаю, да, то, что просто нас ждет отличный бой, и я хотел бы ему сказать, чтобы он был готов, потому что я буду готовым. Тем самым будет интересней, тем самым будет вкуснее победа, тем самым будет интересней. Well, I, I want to tell, uh, I want to tell him that uh, we should be ready for the fight. You know, we should be ready for this fight for us. We should be ready for this fight uh, for our fans. Uh, we, we, sh we, we, sh we should uh, get ready. I think we should be both in a better shape for this fight, and the better uh, uh, we'll be, we, we will be for this fight, the more uh, the sweetest taste the victory will have for us. Canelo, you got the floor. What do you have to say to Gennady Golovkin? I want to give you the floor. What do you want to say to Gennady Golovkin? Nothing. We'll see you on the 15th of September. Nothing. We'll see you September 15th. And to all of you watching, is there anything you would like to say to Triple G? Is there anything you'd like to say to Canelo? Let us know in the comment section below for your chance to have your questions answered directly. But before we check out what the fans have been posting in that comment section below, let me just ask you one question to all of you in our Facebook Live uh, broadcast. Uh, and I want to start with Gennady Golovkin. Why aren't we all hanging out in the same room? Why are you in Big Bear, California? Why is Canelo in Guadalajara? And why aren't we shaking hands in person? Triple G, I'll start with you. Я думаю, мы каждый находимся на своем месте, и мы делаем то, что нам удобно. В данный момент нам, значит, так всем комфортнее, и я думаю, тем самым будет интересней наш бой 15 -го. То есть мы сможем друг другу все сказать и все показать. We have both boxers looking at each other, sometimes shaking hands, sometimes having a little more action than that. Why didn't you want to face Gennady Golovkin before September 15th? Why didn't you want to be in the same room with him at the same time? No, seguramente nos vamos a ver antes del 15 de septiembre, ¿no? Pero ya habíamos hecho gira para, para esta pelea, creímos que no era conveniente hacer una más, entonces, por eso. No, I assure you, I assure you we'll see ourselves face to face before September 15th. We had already done a tour, we had already done the promotion, it wasn't necessary for this one, but I'll see him very soon. All right, that's fair, that's fair. Well, fight fans, we certainly have a lot to look forward to this September 15th. Uh, in just a moment, we will open up the phones to uh, have questions from members of the media. And first up, we have Salvador, Salvador Rodriguez from ESPN Deportes. Chava? Hola, Mauricio. Saludos a... A Gennady, saludos a Canelo, a Oscar, a todos en el panel. Quería preguntar primero a, a Canelo y saludarle. Eh, saludos, Saúl. Como mexicano, ¿crees que Abel Sánchez se merece un buen apretón de manos? I will, I will translate the question from Salvador. This is for Canelo Álvarez. Canelo, as a Mexican, do you believe Abel Sánchez deserves a good handshake? Can you, can you actually shake uh, Abel Sánchez's hands, Canelo? Se merece eso y mucho más. He deserves that and much more. He deserves that and much more. Uh, all right, we move on. Lance, put me from the LA Times. Lance, good to talk to you. What do you got? 
Good to talk to you guys. Canelo, I just have a couple questions for you. Uh, real quick, do you feel like the things that Abel and Gennady are saying to you about really making this a toe-to-toe fight is just a tactic to draw you in when it may mean it may make more sense for you to box your, yourself to victory in this fight? ¿Crees que las tácticas que están usando es nomás para para jalarte a, a hacer un cambio de golpes y no hacer tu boxeo que fácilmente puedas ganar? Seguramente, pero eh, este sentimiento que traigo hacia ellos lo voy a utilizar obviamente con inteligencia, no, pero me va a servir mucho. Yes, that's probably their tactic, and but you know what, this sentiment that I have inside of me, it's going to help me a lot, intelligently, to bring out what I have to do. I know what I have to do. And lastly, we have Jeremy Harris from Fun Saturday. Jeremy? Hi, uh, this first question's for, for Canelo. Um, there are lots of rumors that have uh, spread around uh, about you wearing uh, a knee wrap in, in different pictures. Is there anything wrong with the knee, and can you address that? Muchos rumores de un vendaje que tienes en la rodilla, estás bien de la rodilla. No, simplemente estoy usando una rodillera, ¿no? Como protección es parte de, de la rehabilitación, pero me siento muy bien. He estado entrenando fuerte y no le veo ningún problema. Jeremy. No, yes. simply put, it's a, it, it's a sim, it's a brace just to support. Uh, I've been training really hard. It's part of rehabilitation, and I've been working really hard, and then that, that is not going to be a problem. Trust me. Go on, Jeremy. Um, second question uh, for Canelo. Uh, the county box numbers from your last fight show that uh, Triple G outlanded you by 49 punches and outthrew you by 198. Do you feel that you need to increase your work rate in order to win the rematch? En las estadísticas muestran que él tiró más golpes y conectó más golpes. ¿Crees que tú tienes que aumentar eh, pues tu golpeo para um, sobrepasarlo? Sí, no, obviamente no. Hay que agregarle todo eso a la estrategia que vamos a llevar. Sin duda, no. Para, para ganar una pelea se necesitan golpes y eso es lo que hago en todas mis peleas. Yes, that's part of the plan, part of what we're working on. And, and yes, you know, we know what we have to do and we have to throw more punches and that's what we're going to do. To win fights, you have to throw punches and that's what I do in all my fights. All right, thanks to members of the media. Now it's time to take a look at all your questions and comments you've been posting for the fighters and their teams on Facebook Live. And we'll go straight to that. We'll start with Rob Araujo. Ask them both what will be the difference from the first fight. Hashtag Mexican style. Let's go first to Gennady Golovkin's camp. And I, and I want to go to Gennady straight to you. What do you think will be the difference from fight number one? I think this fight will be more interesting. Uh, it will be a tougher fight, it will be a fiercer fight. I think we made our conclusion from the first uh, fight and that this, this fight will be more colorful and more interesting. All right, let's ask the same question to Canelo Alvarez. Canelo, what do you think the difference will be from the first fight? No, sin duda va a ser una pelea diferente, ¿no? Ya nos conocemos, creo que sabemos qué estrategia tomar para que no termine como la vez pasada y, y sin duda, sin duda yo llevaré una estrategia, una mejor estrategia y, y sin duda será una, una pelea diferente. No, without a doubt, it's going to be a different fight, it's going to be a better fight. Look, we know what we have to do, I'm going to take it even a stronger strategy, a better strategy, and it's going to be a much better fight. We already know each other. Now we know what we have to do. All right, the next question will be for Team Triple G, and it comes from Juan Herrera. To Team Triple G, 
Are you doing anything different in this camp from the last time you fought Canelo? Abel, this question is for you. You know, we, uh, we prepare ourselves and we prepare Gennady to, to be the best Gennady can be. Uh, we won the first fight. Uh, a lot of people know that we won the last fight. He knows we won the last fight. Uh, it, the adjustments, some adjustments will be made obviously in camp, but uh, Gennady fights in a style that's uh, not only fan pleasing, but a style that he has uh, mastered in, in with a 23 knockout streak and uh, what uh, 20 defenses, making it the 21st on the 15th. Uh, I think that that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the best in history. He's, he's tied uh, Bernard Hopkins' record. Uh, he's got a knockout ratio, the best in middleweight history. So I think the changes are going to be minimal, but uh, I think it's all going to depend if Canelo brings his courage. That's from the manager's side. I want to hear now from the boxer's side. Canelo, uh, I'm sorry, Gennady, are you doing anything different for this second fight, for the rematch? Нет, я также отношусь к своей работе 100%, и я думаю, я буду готов на 100%. No, I'm doing, as always, I'm doing 100% what I need to do, and I'll be ready 100% for this fight. All right, there you go, Juan Herrera. That's the answer to your question. Remember, we've been getting a lot of comments, a lot of questions from everyone watching this Facebook Live broadcast. We have one more, cutting tape for Canelo Alvarez. Hi, Canelo, can you talk about your impressive footwork and mobility in the first fight? And now that you've had surgery on your knee, do you think your footwork might be even better in the rematch? Canelo? No, la verdad que siempre lo he sabido hacer. Obviamente lo trabajamos para esta pelea y, y lo necesitamos para hacer un, un, la pelea que hicimos, una gran pelea. Eh, yo no creo que me, que me afecte mi rodilla, ¿no? Pero obviamente tendremos una estrategia si eso me afecta, pero no creo que me afecte. La verdad que me siento muy bien, he estado entrenando normal y muy contento. No, that's always been part of my arsenal, part of my, of my abilities. I, I know how to move inside the ring, I have that. And the knee, the knee's not going to be a problem. We've been working hard now, we've been training here, and it hasn't given me any issues. And, and if it does come up during the fight that it gives me problems, we'll already have a, a plan B, a strategy behind that as well. Very good question, Karen. Thank you very much. And thank you, everyone, for joining us today, watching this special Facebook Live Triple G Canelo event. A reminder that tickets for September 15th are on sale now, and they are going fast. You can also join Canelo Triple G to September 15th live from the T-Mobile Arena on pay-per-view for Golden Boy Promotions, Triple G Promotions, and the entire Golden Boy Media and Entertainment team. I am Mauricio Pedrosa. We'll see you in Las Vegas. Until next time.